Oh, sorry. Don't know what happened there. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart, and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase. Where today, me and Treoris have taken a little field trip out to the muggy swamps. Now, it's not really the best place to take a field trip, but we are going to be testing out and meeting a few freaky beasts out here. So up there, Treoris is standing guard of today's equipment because, as always, I'm going to be the one tackling these beasts head on. So without further ado, let's get to it. The observation deck is up here. I thought I heard you, Piggy. I thought I heard you rustling around. But here we are in the swamps. It smells pretty bad over here. But um, the monsters that we're going to be taking on smell even worse. How are you doing, buddy? Right, he's got his golden laptop ready to take pictures and analyze all the results that's going to happen here. But we've got a caution-controlled environment put in place here. Because inside, we have got loads of spawn eggs, which we're going to take a hold of right now. And they went all in the wrong order, but that is fine. It's all good. Let me just... I don't even know what I'm doing right now. But um, we need to take some special... Special requirements here, some special precautions, and I'm going to put on this armor. Basically, that was a special precaution. I hyped that up a little bit. wasn't really a special precaution, but um, it's, it's going to have to be because it's, it's going to get crazy out here. So let's go down here and spawn in some of these bad boys. Piggy, I'm going to feel bad for you because it's going to get stinky, it's going to get scary, and yes, don't look at me like that, okay? It is going to get mad, all right? So the first thing we're going to spawn in is the ghoul zombie. Now, this is the only one of these monsters that will spawn in the darkness and only burn in daylight. The rest will be able to survive in the day. But all of these mobs will spawn in the swamp. So if you come into the swamp at night, you're going to be in trouble. I thought I saw you, risky, risky sheep. Look how, look how sneaky they're looking. Anyway, ghoul zombie, let's go. Let's spawn him underneath here so he doesn't burn. Here he is. He's looking pretty aggressive. He is, oh God, he's very... Very, very nasty. Let me take him out. He will poison you when he attacks you. He didn't do too much damage, but it will bite on your kneecaps and cause poison. So those are actually faster than normal zombies. As you saw, I was just walking backwards normally and he caught me up. You can have baby ones of those. They only have 15 health rather than 20 from a normal zombie. But they're still pretty freaky and scary at the same time. Now the next one we're going to have a look at is called the Dweller. Now I'm not sure now all of these have been mixed up which one's which. But let's go in for this. This is the Dweller and this is actually the one who is fairly slow on land but very speedy in water. So he has 20 health. He is scary. Look at these textures. These textures make things look so damn freaky. But this guy will normally spawn in the water. So, for example, over there. And he won't be able to survive for too long outside the water. So, after a certain amount of time, if you lure him onto land, he will start um, depreciating, I guess. Look, he's trying to go to the water over there because he's not going to survive long. He's starting to die, but he will actually take a lot of damage there. Look at his tail. That is beautiful. And he's passed away. So sorry, sir, but you just suffocated in the air. Anyway, he will drop fish, and then we're going to move on to the next one, which is called Etin. So here is Etin. Oh, God, I forgot about this guy. He is massive. Look at this guy. He's got two very scary heads. Those look like Castle Crasher heads. Oh, my God, they look so like it. It's kind of like Castle Crashers mixed with the troll from Harry Potter. But anyway, this guy is slow, but he will whack you. Here we go. Out, taking one for the team. Ah, oh, he will whack you pretty hard. I'm wearing full diamond. He takes about half a heart to a heart every single time. And he has some very powerful attacks. If you hide behind something, as you saw when he spawned in, he will start to destroy it. So he kind of took off the corner of that tree there, which was pretty scary. But let's try and take this guy down. He is aggressive. Hey, hey, buddy, calm down, please. Calm down. He's kind of easy to kill because of his um, slow movement. But look at these massive clubs he's got. He will attack you and he will destroy. So let's take him down and he will drop a nice amount of leather and some wood as well. So he's not too difficult to defeat. So when you see him, don't be scared too much. But yeah, he is kind of scary in appearance. Right then, next one we have is Remobra. Remobra is this guy. It is a flying beast and it will spit poison fireballs at you. It only has 10 health because it's very hard to kind of hit. Get away from me. Get away. And he will just fire these poison fireballs at you. It's annoying. It does hurt you a lot more than normal just melee damage. And you can't really get away from it because it's a long range attack and it's very, very accurate as well. 
and there you go that will drop a slime ball as well upon death right up next is the aspid look at this guy he's like a dinosaur he's looking cool i like his stubby little arms and his little head he's like a turtle slash dinosaur and you need to be careful of this because if you walk into it you will get poisoned for five seconds so this guy i don't think attacks you too much let me let me just punch him there we go are you coming after me yep he's going oh god oh god what have i done what have i done he is fairly fast he will poison on attacking and if you kind of try and attack him from the back or just go around where he's already been you will also get poisoned so be very careful of this look how long it lasts it's kind of going all the way like this kind of like that old snake game people used to play on their phones when they when it was really new people were like wow this game is crazy and that's what it's like and he will drop um raw aspid meat so i'm pretty sure you can cook this and eat this up for yourself now we've got two left and then we get on to something really really cool up there and um, this one um let me just um kind of remember which one's which one of them is really scary this is the eye wig Oh my god, this one is crazy. Look at him, he's kind of like a spider, and um, he's got these pincers on the front, but the thing you need to be wary of is the thing right at the front in the middle of those pincers, because this is what's going to happen to you. Hey, come back here. There we go. Out comes the laser. He's firing his laser. Oh, Jesus. I didn't think it would be this crazy. Please back off. Oh, God. He's got a laser on him, and it's a poison laser. Look at this thing. It's knocking me back, so I can't even get near him. Destroy. Destroy, please. I want you to die. I want you to die now. I want you to die. Oh, my goodness. It will give you poison for five seconds and carry on attacking you with that. Oh, God. I did not think it was that powerful. He is very freaky, though. Very freaky and has a really cool attack, which you will be able to use for yourself in a bit with a special item, but we'll check that out in a bit. He will drop spider eyes and it will also drop seeds as well. Now, onto our last mod, but not the last part of this mod. And this one is the scary one. It's very, very freaky, very hard to kill. It's the Lurker. So, oh god, that is really weird. That's really weird looking. Look at that. I don't know what that symbol is in the top left. Ow! Ow! No! Too much poison. Too much poison. So what this guy does is kind of sneaks up on you, will poison and blind you, and then teleport away to do it again. So... Oh god, I think I'm gonna die. Right, let me do it again. Teleport away. There we go. It'll run away and then try and find you again when the blindness is gone. It's back. It's back. Let's kill it. Let's kill it. Let's kill it. I want you to die. There we go. And it will drop string. So imagine if you're at night and that thing just pounces on you, gives you blindness, poison, two shots and you're dead. And it will just teleport away like it never even happened. That is a super freaky mob. And now we're gonna go over two items where you can kind of use some of those attacks we just experienced for yourself how is how is everything going you finally got like a big charging station for your laptop and you just stand on it that's that's what you do really hopefully you got the results that you needed but now we're going to go over two very special items the first one is called the venom shot scepter and the second one is called the poison ray scepter so let's quickly jump back down here here we go don't want to take any full damage now the first one is crafted by using a poison gland which is or can be dropped by the poison cloud one so it's kind of like the dinosaur the that has the snake-like effect coming out the back of him where you walk into the gas and you poison him. He can drop this. If you combine that with six rotten flesh and two blaze rods, you will get his venom shot scepter. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's only got plus one attack damage, and that is bad. But when you right-click while using it, it will fire out poison balls. Check this out. Hold the right-click, and it will start firing them out just like that big purple bird thing. So, I, actually, that might be the drop from the purple bird thing. It's one of the two, anyway. And check this out. You get the ability for yourself. This sheep will get poisoned when attacked here we go oh god i killed it it's got a pretty strong attack power what else can i fire it there we go piggy piggy from earlier it fires quite far as well check this out look at that beautiful go get the pig get the pig you know what i'm gonna save you for later i'm gonna save you for now actually by using the poison ray scepter which is a brand new scepter and these are the only two in the mod at the moment but they will be adding more in the future and this one requires the poison gland as well but instead of rotten flesh you will need fermented spider eyes plus two blaze rods and you'll get the poison ray scepter now this one is my favorite because you remember that thing with the big claws on the front and the big ball that zapped out the laser yes you can use that. It's crazy. That's hold the right click. Out comes the laser. And look at that. It's so freaky. Look, I'm firing my laser out of my eye. Oh, God. So let's try and use this on something because it is a fantastic weapon come here cows come here sheep here we go see how long range it is look at this you can just aim it at the sheep and it will just get destroyed oh it's too good you may have laid an egg chicken but you're about to get killed there we go it will poison it so you only need to really hit them once but it's too funny to just carry on firing your laser at them 
It's awesome. That is a huge sand dune up there. Look at that. Amazing. Here we go. Poison cows everywhere. I'm a fire in my laser. It's beautiful. Oh my god, it's so good. It's really cool. I've never seen a weapon like it, to be honest, and I've never seen any mobs like this before, and that is pretty much our research complete, I think. So let's go and see Troyos for a final analysis. Piggy, Piggy, you're going down. I said I'd save you for later, and I didn't take you down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not really that sorry. You're dead now. Sorry. No, oh no. Hey, just die. Just die. Just die. Just die. It's got quite a long range on this thing, and it lasts for quite a while as well. The durability isn't going down too slowly either, which is pretty damn cool. Troyos, did we get what we were looking for? What is one word to sum up what we just experienced? Ah. Okay, that is quite wise, actually. That's pretty wise. Wise words from Troyos there. And that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. So if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. Also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. And if we can get to an amazing 10,000 likes, that would be awesome. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for all your support. It's been amazing. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs>